Qualcomm has announced its new processor which is a Snapdragon 636. It has got few amazing features which we'll be looking over in this video. So without any further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, I'm Shubham from Top Notch Reviews and let's get started. As we grow, our needs grow with us. Day by day, we demand a faster and economical processor. The new Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 is all set to meet its performance load. This processor is designed on a 14 nanometer technology and it is compatible with the Snapdragon 630 as well as the Snapdragon 660 pin sockets. The Snapdragon 636 has 8 Cairo 260 cores in two 4 core clusters. Qualcomm says this offers a 40% improvement in performance when compared to Snapdragon 630. Most of the mid-range and budget chips from Qualcomm use ARM reference design known as Cortex. But the company also has much better custom ARM compatible cores known as Cairo. The Snapdragon 636 will be one of the first budget SoC from Qualcomm to have Cairo cores built in. It also supports dual channel low power DDR4 RAMs up to 8GB. The GPU has bumped to an Arduino 509 which is slightly better than 508 in 630. The GPU is designed to support 18 to 9 screens which are trending right now. But the resolution tops out at Full HD Plus which is around 2160 into 1080. Phones like Galaxy Note 8, Pixel 2 and the Mat 10 Pro all have screens with taller aspect ratios than the usual 16 to 9. This shape allows the display to be more efficiently filled in the front of the device. The 14 nanometer Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 can support 124 megapixel camera or two 12 megapixel cameras for better depth and feel in the photos. It can shoot 4K videos at 30 fps and 1080p videos at 120 fps and it can play back 4K Ultra HD videos. This processor supports 5G with LTE downlink speed up to 2 times faster than prior generation. The Snapdragon X12 modem is designed to quickly download a favorite TV show or an entire album worth of songs in many locations with great consistency. The Snapdragon 636 also supports Quick Charge 4.0 which has become a requirement right now. There is a support for Bluetooth 5.0 and dual SIM with LTE connection. The OEM chips will be shipping from November and you might find the devices with Snapdragon 636 by the first quarter of 2018. There are leaks saying that Xiaomi will be the first company to offer devices with Snapdragon 636 built in. This processor is a great balance between performance and cost. This is really a next gen processor with all the features support which are future ready. So guys if you like the video hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more further videos. Peace.